Hi everybody, Dave Soft Vapor here. Yes, and we've got another hardware review for you today for a change because I've done a lot of juice over the last week. So, uh, little hardware review, one that I've been playing about with for quite a number of weeks now. And of course, I'm talking about the, the Bumbus, the Umia Bumbus, uh, 25mm, I'd say, single coil, banging flavour, banging flavour, really is, guys. Quite easy to build. Easy to wick, just get that wicking right because if you choke it off you're going to get dry hits. If you don't put enough cotton in, it's just no flood. Simple as that, same as any other uh, atta. And guys, yeah, it's a very, very nice, as I say, the Umia. Umia. And uh, I tell you what, should we head on down to that table cam? Come on, let's get down there before I go on and on and on. See you down there. Hey everybody, so here we are, we're down on the table cam, I'm looking at uh, the Umier, the RTA, the Bombus one. Yes, the Bombus by Umier. So, colour the notes there, black, as you can see you've got your little bumblebee on there having a the wasp this time. Umier, Umier scratch and sniff, their uh, web address, uh, what the kit includes, the Bombus atomizer, start kit organic cotton or should say spare kit and organic cotton and glass and all that lot uh, their socials maybe yeah, that side uh, not suitable people under the age 18 whom yet yeah, bombus all the usual warnings including don't wake in the bin don't wait if you're pregnant uh, they're addressed in Shenzhen and uh, designed and manufactured by Umia. So this was sent in by the lovely, lovely George Vapor, Mr. Lee McLaughlin, sent me this in to review. He's a good lad. So right away we have the manual, and as we go through in Chinese there, where's the English? Here we go, there's the English. As you can see it comes in a few colours, we've got the uh, stainless and black, the rainbow and the gold there. Goes through and shows the deck and everything else in there. There we go, there's the deck and everything. Quite, quite good. Nice little, little one and I'm glad it's not one of them fold out ones. Pop that away. We've got some organic cotton. Yep. Uh, we got the spares bag. Spares bag. And we got a tea driver coil in there. We'll have that coil out. Uh, plenty of spare O-rings. Grub screws down there. Yeah, grub screws are down there, yes there we are, so plenty on that, plenty in there, spare glass, which I can't get out, I'm not going to force it out, I've got a spare o-ring in here as well, what am I doing, get that out of there, and of course we have the bombus itself, so here we go, there we go, RTA bombus by Umier. As you can see, I've cleaned this out. I've been using this, um, and I quite like it. The flavour from this is actually really, really good. Really good. It really is. So we have the bottom airflow, and it's stopped. And you can close off one, two, or three holes. And what you do on one side, it does on the other. Slightly protruding fire tamping on there. Uh, 510 drips it and it, it sort of tapers down but that doesn't get in the way and it's got a funny funny filling port we'll set that off because it's got one of those filling ports and you fill from the top and you slide it down and you fill like a few others that have been about over the years so uh, as you can see it's got the bubble glass on the straight glasses in there it's sort of bubbled anyway and it? it's not really bubbled out that much is it compared to the straight glass so let's undo that. The most important part. Let's get it undone. Right, so can I get the bubble glass off? And no, it doesn't want to come off this time round. As you can see, it's fairly donned on the inside. The threads on this are really, really nice, they are. Um, and, you know, it's uh, it's got these little signs as well for opening the juice flow and the, the match up uh, there for opening and closing. The only thing I don't like about this is I have put it down and sort of knocked it and left it open and it's done a TFB8 
from it and uh, the next morning the desk has been full of uh, full of juice so you have to watch that now I've got a coil in here already and I'm going to leave this coil in it's an easy one to fit in um, as you can see there is a little a little edge on the side of the deck there coil goes in clicks down the side GTA type uh, deck on there so juice underneath the well and it's, a, it's an easy one to build in fact no it won't I'll put, an, I'll put that coil in I'll put that coil in ok guys so uh, we'll get this onto the tab and we'll have a look around it again while I get this coil on see you in a minute right guys so I've got it on the tab as you can see I've taken the other coil out and I can show you the other coil let's get that and that as you can see it's pretty easy to fit you know in they go and you go in it goes so uh, let's put the new coil in right, three mil in the diameter this is the coil that come with it so we'll, uh, we'll just pop that in there and I hope you can see guys not me dropping everything flathead screws on this as well guys there is a little bit of a lip to catch your, uh, your wire so that's uh, quite good so let's screw this down make sure we've got a little bit of a grip on it and the uh, airflow course was straight underneath which I didn't show you uh, it's two two sides of it two half moon sides so that looks a bit underneath there that isn't in the middle either is it so we'll pull that over Come on, there we go. And we'll take it down a bit towards that airflow. Maybe a little bit more. Just a slight bit more. There we go. This is easy as that to put in. Uh, we'll cut these legs. And we want to cut these as close as we can. Of course, positive on this side, negative on the other side. So I'm going to get in with these blunt cutters again getting as close as I can put that to one side oh that was not nice pulling that down like that was it making that sound get that one in that side close as I can there we go and we'll make sure that these are the screwed right down yeah that looks in a perfect position that I'll just uh, I'll just find my glasses so I can make sure <laughs> put my granddad glasses on that would be a good idea so let's get this tight. Oh. Not seen tight enough, I think. Not seen tight enough. Let's see what it says it's uh, coming out at. Uh, if I can. Right, this would be that see. 0 0.08. Really? Right, let's zoom it in and find out. Let's get it uh, started. Nice slow pulses. Bring it down to the camera so you can see it as well on the other one. Slow pulses. Colours are coming through. Golds and blues and hot leg there. So let's just get uh, that in and get another little. Here we go. Still hot leg in a bit. And a uh, few hot spots on there oh there we go perfect how about that guys um, just while we're there we can turn that off and make sure that we uh, we have these tight now we just heated it up we've got that coil how we want it there we go nice and tight <sighs> 0 0.21 that'd be more like it that'd be more like it i don't know where the uh, 0, 0, 008 came from so what we need now we need some cotton did i pull my cotton out did a bugger it so single coil this as i say uh you may uh, flavor from it has been really good to tell you the truth really good so let's get let's get some cotton will that do, will that do it Let's find out. I've got a little bit of cotton at one side. We'll see whether this will do it. We'll get this in. 
So you guys keep on pulling it off camera and towards me. Might be a bit like that cotton but it'll do for now. Scissors, now I'm going to set this down and just mark it in there. Get that in. Probably could have done with a little bit more cotton in this actually. But as that piece was hanging about, I thought I'd use it. So let's hope it doesn't flood it out. <laughs> so here we go. I'm just going to fluff them a little bit. Fluff, fluff, fluff. That'll do. And we'll, uh, we'll push them in. From underneath. Come on. From underneath. And don't forget, you don't want to choke this off too much, otherwise it's all uh, the cotton will expand and, and choke it off, and you'll end up with dry it. So just po poke it down. I do so it's just a little bit showing it underneath. Now some people don't like that; they like the full dam method. But I like to give it a little bit underneath. So just pull that up and then push it in. Come on. Sorry guys, if I'm going off camera, I'm not looking at the, what, what I'm doing. At the camera that is. Here we go. Push that in a bit further down. Come on. Let's start a bit. I'll put a bit more cotton on that side than I actually uh, wanted, but it'll do. It's not going to do anything bad to it. And there we have it, guys. There we have it. Shall we? Um, should we get something on there? Now, what should we have on? What should we have on? I tell you what, I'm going to go with some apple crumble from 88 Bait because I love it, I really do. So let's get some of this on. Let's get this all wet, eh? Get plenty on there. Plenty on there. I'm just going to a little bit underneath there, let it expand. A little bit underneath there, let's. Uh, Give it a fire. Oh, excellent. Plenty more. Oh, that smells so good. That really does. And here we go, guys. How about that? Lovely. So, next thing. Let's get this off. And we just wind back. Oh, wind back. Make sure it sits in there properly. There we go. And then wind forward. It's, the threads are really smooth, guys. They really are. Uh, I'm just going to pop that off because it does get in the way. Unless you've got a small bottle. And I'm just going to fill it up, guys. And see how we go on. See whether I put enough cotton in there now. After being laser, do them off. There's a lot of these single coil bangers about, and uh, you know, I quite like that. I quite like that. Let's close that top off. Get that out. Let's see. Oh, let's undo it from there. Was that air flow off again? And there we have it, guys. The Bombus fingerprints all over it. Bombus by Umia. Umia. Uh, yeah, really like that. So, guys, should we add back up top? Show it on a mod and give it a two. I think we'll do that. See you in a minute. Right guys, so come up from the table cam and I've got it on the uh, this old gun unit, you know. Uh, and it looks all right. Black on that and black on that. It's a really, really nice tank. About 25 mil, it's 24.5 mil uh, at the base. But with that little bit of a bubble on it, it takes up to about 25 mil. Um, the top fill on it, I'm not a lover of. I'm not a lover of these ones that have been round at the top with two holes in. I must admit, especially if you're clumsy like me and you, you tend to, oh, you know, let go of something and pull it round, um, which was always a problem for me with this. 
I've not done it once, I've done it twice where I've caught it and it's it's broke the uh, the vacuum and the next morning the juices have been all over the place because I've had this on trial and been used for weeks now. Anyway guys, I put some of that apple crumble in, didn't I? So let's have a two. Absolutely fantastic flavour from it, it really is. Really good flavour. Uh, can't complain about flavour, I've had lots of different things in this, I've had custards, I've had fruits and what have you. And uh, they've all been good, they have, they really have. It's another single coil banger, there seems to be plenty of them about and uh, I quite like them, I really do, I must admit. Mm -hmm. It's definitely up there when it comes to flavour with quite a lot of others, um, along with the, the Kelpie and a few others. Uh, still not as good as the Shenray, I'm afraid, for me. Shenray still still takes it. As you can see, it's wicking well. It's wicking well. Coil come out in the end at uh, 0.19. And I'm only banging it at 40 watts on here. And it seems to be alright. I could bump up a little bit more if I wanted a bit more of a warmer vape. But yeah, I like it. It's very nice. Uh, big thank you to Lee McLaughlin for sending this in to me for the purpose of review. Very kind of him. He's a good friend. And of course, one of the co-hosts on the Friday night show. Uh, thank you very much, Lee. Anyway, guys, that's it for the review. It's a banging tank. It's well worth the money. It really is. So uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming over and subscribing. That's really nice of you. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next week, which is much appreciated. And uh, my existing subscribers, I love you all. Don't forget, we've got some FB local comps going on and what have you, and there'll be some more in the in the future. So come along and, uh, and have a go at them as well. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it for the review. Thank you very much for viewing, watching. Don't forget, share, like, comment, all that jazz. Really helps the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.